just shot an underwear ad. What can you tell me I about did, that? Man, it's the most sexiest thing in the world, man. This is definitely going to do great for my love life. <laughs> now, it's just Frigo. It's an underwear company, and they're about the higher levels of, of men's undergarments. Because how many years have you seen uh, lingerie been available for you to, to buy different fabrics or different styles for a woman? Sorry, yeah. It's exciting. The gift from a man to a woman for him. Self, right? So you see her in it, right? So Frigo is creating that for, for women. And uh, last question. You're in Southpaw with Jake Gyllenhaal, I heard. Uh, what can you tell me about your role in that movie? Well, actually, Southpaw is a Floyd movie. Well, Floyd, my relationship with Floyd Mayweather is what kind of gave me all of the back story for my character. All of my, you know, true, true knowledge of the sport of boxing kind of came from living vicariously through Floyd and, and me actually having fighters and being in a promoter's position with SMS promotions is because of TMT promotions. It's, it's all a reflection of, of our friendship. So when we get into the role with, with Southpaw, it was cool. I had so many different things to draw from, from real people in the sport that it was cool. It was really well written. Kurt Sutter wrote that film. Yeah. And he's like, I'm like, how do you know this? Like, how do you know this stuff? Like, from, from, because it's things, it's almost, I could actually pick true, like, true events at different points where fighters were going through those experiences. And I had to convey that energy. So it was real, it was real natural for me because I had some information on the character in advance. And then working with Antoine Foucault was amazing. Like, he was the, the guy, he got, he got, he got it out of me on that film. Like, it was, it was, it was a lot of, cool moments in it so I can't wait for people to get a chance to see it it'll be out July 24th but it, Jake the discipline look because he, he did Nightcrawler first yeah. he was super skinny like yeah. Yeah. his process preparing like he came in there a really like a wealthy way fighter like they, they they were so smart that they created the combinations and the sequences for the scenes for his training so while he was actually doing the regimen of his training to get in shape he was doing these things so it become first nature for him. So when you see his performance in the film, it's the shit is almost flawless, man. You'll look at it and go, okay, I believe he's a fighter. Like, you know what I mean? Like dead on point. For the latest from Hitbix, visit hitbix.com or download the new Hitbix app on your Roku device.